Oh, oh we just heard uh, Michael Cohen testify that that's what he does when he can't sleep at night. Um, goes on TikTok to build an audience. So Trump's defense now is going after Cohen on the stand about his prior admiration for the former president. And while some argue Cohen's testimony has failed to pinpoint a crime, others see it as a slam dunk. Michael Cohen's whole job on the witness stand is to be that narrator. We've already heard little, like almost every witness up to him has been a trailer, a preview. Now he is the full movie. He was rather relatively succinct. He sounded earnest. Michael Cohen delivered what the prosecution needed him to deliver. Michael Cohen has been the best version of Michael Cohen, and we've all seen the worst versions of him. All right, let's bring in Howie Kurtz, host of Media Buzz. He has been following every minute of this trial. So sure. a lot of debate over how Cohen has done and whether or not this is good or bad for former President Trump. Howie, what's your take? Well, uh, much of the mainstream media seems to be in love with his testimony. But now that we're at the cross-examination, we've seen uh, uh, Trump's attorney go after him on, were you involved in leaks to the AP and CNN? Uh, have you attacked Trump on social media? Of course he has. Um, were you asked to stay off TV? Do you want Trump convicted? I think we can all agree that he very much wants Trump convicted. He's been on this crusade against his former boss uh, for quite a long time. But, and obviously... The, uh, the defense is going to ramp up and portray him as a disbarred, served time in prison, lied to Congress, untrustworthy uh, hack who is doing this to make money. But what I don't see, and I don't think we will see, Martha, is, um, Michael, is the defense taking on Michael Cohn's testimony, the core testimony, about the hush money that he was involved in paying to Stormy Daniels and uh, to, of course, Stormy Daniels and uh, Karen McDougal. And the reason is it's backed up by a very thick stack of emails, texts, uh, encrypted signal messages, bank records, and one uh, a surreptitious audio tape. And I think some jurors may say, well, if they're not taking that on, maybe I can believe Michael Cohen on that. Or they may decide that he has lied so many times and acknowledged lying so many times that he, the fixer is just not believable on anything. Yeah, but, you know, whatever machinations they went through to get this NDA deal done, both sides agreed to it, and every lawyer that we talked to says that's not a crime. No, you know... <laughs> Sleeping it's with uh, a, a porn star is not a crime. Unethical, Doing an NDA but apparently is not, not a crime. illegal. Exactly. But they're, but they're trying to set up the, the alleged crime. falsified yeah. records, and that's why they went through every invoice and every oh, pay stub was as true. Did Trump know about it and so forth? And they still haven't done that furtherance of another crime, um, but we'll see if they get there. Um, they're, they're done, we hear. Uh, in terms of the media coverage of this, little difficult because we don't have a camera in the courtroom. We all wish that we did for this one. Um, but CNN got kind of creative in order to keep their audience engaged in all of this, Howie. Let's watch. He goes, how long do you think I will be on the market for? Not long. What did you understand that to mean? He wasn't thinking about Melania. This was all about the campaign. Mm. I'd be there talking Oscars over there. I'm going to tell you right now, <laughs> that was good. That was a good rendition. It's yeah. important to do this. I don't know, Howie. Is that good TV? Uh, not in my view. I mean, it is frustrating that we don't even get audio out of this under New York state law. I mean, even the Supreme Court allows audio. Uh, so, well, you know, you got to jazz it up. So, I mean, you're on the air all these hours and then you do this dramatic reading. Yeah, I think they ought to stick to their day jobs. All right, in terms of whether or not voters care about this, here's Jeff Selleny uh, talking about swing state voters and their reaction watch. As I talk to voters across the country in these battleground states, A, many of them aren't paying attention at all and are disgusted and sort of tired with this. The reason that President Biden is having problems, it's because of young voters, voters of color, inflation. That is the issue on the minds of voters, not this. We'll see how much this um, is going to play a part. But as of now, it's actually helped Donald Trump. What do you think?
People are sick of this trial, I believe. Uh, New York Times poll says that just 29 percent of voters in these uh, battleground states uh, said they were paying a lot of attention to Trump's legal problems. So it may be, while everybody in this sort of media political uh, universe is obsessed with this case, former president for the first time and all that, uh, that a lot of voters have just not really tuned in, and Trump is using this as a platform also for political issues every day when he talks to the press before and after the uh, courtroom proceedings. Howie, thank you very much. Always good to see you. Thanks, Thank Howie. you so much, Martha. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.